What's going on guys? So if you're looking for a floor plan that maybe sleeps seven or eight people comfortably and yet you're not looking to sacrifice the living room and kitchen space, you're probably not going to want to miss this interesting layout from Heritage Glen. And of course Heritage Glen brings along with it a lot of nice features like auto level, heated holding tanks, solar, and just so many other good features. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. So be sure to tell me in the comment section down below. If you're new here we do welcome you to the channel continue to show your support by leaving your feedback in that comment section down below and let's get started so this is what's called a full profile unit which means it's not going to taper off in the front giving you a little bit more additional headroom and whenever you go upstairs if you're a taller individual you'll definitely appreciate that so we are going to start on the inside first, but I'd like to go over some of the numbers with you to give you an idea of how massive this thing really is. This coach is going to be 43 feet of total length, 13 feet, one inch to the highest point, and that's to the top of that second air conditioner all the way over the kingpin area. As it sits, minus all of your stuff in the propane being filled, 11,610 pounds has a gross vehicle weight rating of 14,150 with a hitch weight in the bed of your truck 2,150 pounds this is going to be a brand new 2023 forest river heritage Glen model number 369 bl two bedroom one bath layout will provide you with sleeping possibly for seven maybe eight individuals really depending on the size of your guest we're gonna start kind of in the kitchen area, but I'm just gonna pan around the room slightly just for a moment. It orientates you with the unit. Love the larger pantry, but let's start right over here with the kitchen island. So kitchen island in the middle, notice the accent lights. Those are really nice whenever you have guests sleeping in your living area to assist them with moving around. Your countertops are what I call a pressed membrane. It's more of a hard heated plastic that's wrapped over the material. It prevents it from swelling in the event that it makes contact with water. I like the single basin sink as, as well. Residential faucet. Your refrigerator is a all, excuse me, 12 volt, not all electric, 12 volt, 16 cubic foot. It's quite large. It looks like a residential fridge, but this is a 12 volt. So on board the Heritage Glen, you have a 200 watt solar panel on the roof. That solar panel sends over a charge to a smart charger, which is powering this refrigerator right now. Your oven is your standard size, Furion brand. It's about your average size that you would find in your basic entry level fifth wheel. Maybe enough room for a casserole dish here some additional counter space and this is something they're proud of this year carpet free rv three burner cooktop there's my hand in reference to size pretty low profile event here standard size microwave pretty basic on some of the appliances for at least your cooking that's nice soft close latches let's look at some of the storage on your kitchen island here I like the different accent lines, especially when they place them like underneath islands and even over the top of some of the slides. Check out the, act, the different strips separating the wood panels and the roof. That's nice. Let's look at your entertainment. This will be your view when sitting in your Thomas Paine collection furniture. These two that I'm sitting in are in fact recliners. 50 inch smart TV this year. That's going to be a Furion sound bar with inside and outside speakers, AM, FM radio, Bluetooth capable, electric fireplace. So let's talk some heating. Your heating on board the coach, you have electric fireplace that will cool, excuse me, heat this entire area here really nicely. But notice your vents coming out through the island. So no vents coming out through the floor. Most of your, your heat will come from a furnace built in. You have floor vents once you go upstairs. Look at this pantry. This is really cool. Magnetic latches to keep it closed. I'm 6'2". You'd possibly need a stool if you are a shorter individual to reach the top. 
good size pull out down here. Let's come over and go over your dining area real quick. Let me close these doors. So the Carpet Free RV, they've replaced the carpet with this woven type material. It's typically found on a lot of the higher end luxury boats. Your windows do have some tint on them as well as valance found on select windows. You're not going to find a valance like on your hallway window because that is a walkway. Guys with wider, broader shoulders would definitely rip those off. Thomas Bank Collection Furniture. This is not a leather. Feels more like a vinyl material. Let me know down below what the, that is called. Some of my viewers have told me before and I, I can't remember. LED lights underneath the recliners as well. All the way in the back, this is a sleeper sofa and it's, it's rather deep. Typically, they're not this big. So that's really nice to see. Normally, when these things are pulled out to its full sleeping arrangement, they are about five foot 11, almost six feet tall or long, not tall. So your cooling on board the coach comes from two Coleman Mach air conditioners. They are both race tracked together so if the air conditioner in the living room is on you're going to feel it blowing possibly in the bathroom area up in the front so that pretty much covers the living area one pan around i think we're going to go ahead and head to the first guest bedroom here on the left but this is a full profile unit so as you move closer to the front you're going to get a lot more headroom in the master bedroom bedroom here with a loft this is just a sneak of what to come coming around. This is going to be the mid bunk area. I like the flush mounted slide. Carpet free for especially whenever you have guests in here, maybe smaller kids. This can be converted to a couple different arrangements, pulling the cushions off the back. This will then turn into a single mattress, but this also opens up flat, converting it to a Versa Queen. So this will be about a queen size bed. You do have the fold down bunk on the top. Take a look at your storage area for your guest. You could up mount upwards maybe a 32 inch TV on the wall. Hanging closet, a couple pull outs. Pretty sure there's a rod in there. Really open concept in here. Feels big. I guess the lighter colors just give it the look that it's bigger than it is. There's some of your ventilation over there by the light. Let's take a look at your loft. So stepping upstairs again, ceiling height of six foot five. This is probably bigger than a queen size mattress. Some additional shelving, ventilation, window with black roller shades, excuse me, gray roller shades or black out. Let's head up into your master bedroom before going over the bathroom. So that does have the bedroom slide, lots of changing room. Notice the ventilation there. So to the left of the bed, you got probably 24 inches of space, maybe even more over here. I like the, uh, the shiplap looking headboard there. Nice shelf on both sides. That's interesting to see. That's something new from last year. Valance with the darker blackout shades. Come around. So you do have connections for a stackable washer and dryer. I like the seat, uh, would have been nice maybe for adding to add some additional storage. It looks just like a pretty much a bench. Just take a look. Yeah, so that, that could be an improvement. Maybe turning this bench into some additional storage. You do have 110 outlets on both sides of the bed. There's a sticker, they're proud of that this year. Last year, I do believe they only had it on one. The other sets can be located back over this way. Under the bed is trimmed out. Looks like someone's already been standing in there. I should have showed you guys this. Your closet does have a, like a pretty good organizer built in. Let's take a look at the bathroom before we look at the price. Porcelain foot flush toilet, a decent amount of room. And again, with this coach being a full profile unit, you're gonna get some additional headroom further in the, up here in the front. Also, it's a full radius roof, so you typically get ceiling height. Looks like it is a flush mounted shower. Same countertop continued into the bathroom area. 
has a stainless steel bowl sink. This would be your bathroom linen. All the hardware is slam resistant. Let's take a look at the MSRP and the price. So with date and time of making the video, the MSRP manufacturer suggested retail price is $95,653. At date and time of making the video though, <laughs> be sure to check that link found down below that sends you back to my website where you can view the price as well as additional photos. There's also a way for you to reach out to me and get in touch with me if maybe you like more additional information on this model or any other ones that you see. We're going to go ahead and get ready to head outside, but if this is where you end your video, I greatly do appreciate you guys sticking around. Continue to like and subscribe. Let's go ahead and head outside. So I've waited for the sun to finally go down so I can come outside and show off some of the outside lights. Sometimes with the sun at this time of the year, it's just really bad for a GoPro. But again, 43 feet in length, 13 feet, one inch to the highest point. You do have something that's being modified, should I say. This is your outdoor, I wouldn't call it a camp kitchen or an entertainment, but right now, has a miniature fridge what the factory is doing is they're going to extend this opening about 8 or 12 inches giving you room for a pull out griddle right here you'll also have some sort of organizer which is it's that's a lot nicer than just having that dead space there it's kind of a wasted space at the moment they've also go ahead have gone ahead and included the LP quick disconnect here so you could set up some sort of table maybe and set the griddle on at the moment. There possibly is room in there for one, but you just have to be real cautious of the heat, you know, in relation to pulling it out. Television connections, outdoor speakers, really thick baggage doors, and they're held up with magnets. These are right at two inches thick with slam latches also. Really big pass-through compartment, probably dimensions are right at four feet by maybe two and a half feet tall. This is your battery disconnect switch. And that is a light switch to control the LED lights found on the front. I'll show you those here in a second. This is the smart charger. So its main purpose is to monitor that 200 watt solar panel on the roof. It keeps the battery from either overcharging or undercharging. And also this little lip right here is a good place to set a larger TV instead of trying to hang one up here. So you do have two different awnings. So almost the entire camp side of the coach covered under awning space this one's 17 foot that one's 16. they both have identical led light strips let me show you that and while i'm here here is your baggage door these things are rather thick that one also has justice coming around to the front though fully molded fiberglass front cap automotive grade paint and look at those docking lights that makes finding your camper and an unfamiliar campground a lot easier hitch weight i do believe is right at 2100 pounds make sure you're checking the load and tow capacity of your vehicle this is a full profile unit and in my opinion it's going to take a much larger vehicle to tow this safely i'd recommend towing it with at least a single or dual wheel one ton it is going to be leveled from a six point fully automatic leveling system you have jacks in the front in front of the tire also in the back all the controls to operate it will be found in this front pass-through compartment and there's also several things going on in this area so bear with me so from left to right right over here are all the controls to operate that electronic leveling system but just by touching of one button, the coach will in fact level itself. Makes setting these things up a lot easier. Radiant foil found on the floors, which by the way, the floors are constructed of a 5-inch tongue and groove plywood. This is called your water management area. Your water line will come up through the floor, connecting to city water connection. If you're cleaning out your holding tanks, the black tank directly from the toilet, you're going to connect that water line right up here. But just be careful. Make sure your pull-out valve is in the open position. 
satellite connections and this is already pre-wired for an inline filter if you decided to add one nice little docking light let's take a look at some of the plumbing on the coach but while we're there there's the 10 gallon gas or electric water heater both of the propane bottles are also going to be found on one side let's hold off on the plumbing both of these being on one side makes changing them out a little easier unlike some other models that have it one on each side having just both of them on one side makes things easier for you so your sewer let's talk plumbing now only one connection but you have multiple pull handles there's a gray a black and a gray that makes things nice that way you're not fumbling around with multiple hoses your camper is going to be riding on a very beefy 12 inch i-beam construction in the frame here <clears throat> it's going to have this rack and pinion slide which goes straight through it really beefy component for a very beefy slide that's good to see your power cord is going to be connecting here so coming around to the back you got a fully walkable roof blind side camera prep really cool system to work with it kind of works in unison with a display that's in the vehicle 250 pound low capacity on the ladder coming right down you got the 4x4 two the bumper two inch receiver below it for adding a bike rack or a luggage rack it is notated there on it also with that white sticker not for towing it will void your warranty if you attach any other type of attachment to that bracket also but if you guys like what you see leave me a thumbs up i greatly do appreciate you guys that have stuck around this long in the video continue to like and subscribe and come see me